This episode is brought to you by Fairdesk, a crypto derivatives trading platform founded by six former Binance execs and three former Morgan Stanley architects. Fairdesk is a company focused on building a platform that enables traders to profit from both rising and falling markets. Sign up today and CB will credit you up to $600 in trading funds. For more information, visit Fairdesk.com. Link in the description below. This my two Satoshis, this my two Satoshis Who need two cents when they can get double from stacking Toshis Yeah, this my two Satoshis, Toshis. this my two Satoshis, Satoshis. So Tune in and get the latest and greatest from stacking Toshis yeah. This my two Satoshis, this my two Satoshis Who need two cents when they can get double from stacking Toshis Yeah, this my two Satoshis, this my two Satoshis Tune in and get the latest and greatest from stacking Toshis Yeah, yeah, that's where you need to get the real news at Stop messing with them lanes out there CBTV. Let me out of here. How? Fuck it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it and we'll do it live. Okay. Ready? Fucking thing. Fucking thing sucks. sucks. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live. That's right. Ladies and gents, we're doing it live. Support Crypto Blood, and welcome to another episode of my two Satoshi. What do you know? Hope everyone's doing well out there today. It is hump day. It's hump day. Hump day. Hump day. Hump day. It is hump day, guys. And uh, actually, hold on. Let me see if I can adjust my lighting really quickly. Give me one second, people. While I'm doing that, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Actually, don't subscribe. <laughs> don't subscribe. Just like if, you know, if you want to subscribe, the way you do it is become a member. All right. We'll have a link in the description for that. Become a member. That's the only way I want you to so, to actually subscribe to the channel. And I'm so freaking shadow banned. I literally, literally listen to this. Two nights ago, one of my premium YouTube members, a pain member, told me they could not find my videos. They didn't come up on recommendation screen. They had to go search for me. Insane. They're paying to see me. They're paying to support the channel. And you still can't find me. Great. Great job, YouTube. Great job. Uh, off near, that's two-thirds capital gain tax, over 200K true. Uh, leave you in the building. Haven't seen him in a while. Thanks for tuning in, my friend. As you guys know, you know, every week we're giving away crypto. That's what we do here, okay? And this week, 
I have a sponsored uh, wheel spinner. Okay, we have some blow. Give him away some blowfin. You're getting blowfin this week. You're getting blowfin this week, guys. So make sure you super chat or become a member. And if you do either of those, there's something else you have to do this week. The special uh, action or call to action for you this week is for you to um, actually sign up for Blowfin. Link is in the description below. Off near may actually drop it too in the chat room, but you got to sign up because when I spill the, spin the wheel this week, this Friday, and I got some special guests coming on, it's going to be epic. When I spin the wheel this week, okay, you will need to drop me your UID number and that's it. Nothing else. And that UID number, I'm going to check and make sure you signed up under Crypto Bloods link on Blowfin. Great exchange. Go check them out. Um, I'm using Blowfin. I'm using Fairdesk primarily. Blowfin. There are a few good crypto exchanges out there. You got to have some centralized exchanges in your arsenal. You do. <laughs> Wouldn't use them primarily, but if you need to trade in and out, the liquidity is there. It's fast. It's cheaper. Um, there are pros to see to, to being on centralized exchanges. There are many more cons to being on centralized exchanges, but you do have to have those in your arsenal. Okay, so um, sign up, become a member, super chat if you don't want to become a member, and get on that wheel this week. I'm giving away a hundred dollars worth of fifty dollars worth of Shiba, okay, and fifty dollars worth of USDT. Let's go. <clears throat> That's what we're doing this week, all right? So make sure you are tuned in. You have to be present. So tune in Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I think, hey, what I'm hearing, I'm, I'm hearing, you know, Ken Bozak told me this. I did not know this. They're trying very hard to have the having happen on Friday at four around 4.20 Eastern Standard Time. I'm not a smoker, not a weed smoker, but boy, would that be hilarious, right? <laughs> So Friday's episode, we might do a little OT. We might go OT on them and try to extend our way through the having. We got Caesar Alexander. Oh, I'm sorry. Caesar Alexis Gonzalez in the building. <laughs> Top signal in the house. We cooning and coochie in it, baby. That's right. Speaking of, thanks for even reminding me, bro. Speaking of coochie, you better buy you some. Uh, you know. Listen, we're almost there. Fair launch, almost completed. The campaign is almost done at 80%. Get you some because what happens is once we get 80%, we get on the king of the hill. We go to the top. We get put right here, okay? And then when we get put here on the, on the website, it's just over. It's going. It's going to move. You know, they're gonna, people are going to see that. They're, they stay on that homepage. They're going to see it, and they're going to go crazy. So I'll have off near drop a link if he haven't hasn't already. Thanks for reminding me, Top Signal. Um, get in on this if you're interested. It's a meme coin, not giving you financial advice. But let me tell you, at $15,000 market cap, the community is behind it. We, we're about to do some big things with this bad boy. I'm just saying. So you might not have much time to get you some coochie, uh, you 40-year-old virgins. <laughs> at any rate. Uh, let's take a look at, I want to actually, uh, you know, this is not a trading show. This one isn't particularly a trading show. However, let me do a refresh because I had to restart my computer. So all my stuff is screwed up. I have to sign back into things. So let me see if I can sign in really quickly. Guys, let's see. Bada boom, bada bing. Two factor authentic. What the, what the, what? Yeah. One second, guys. Ah, I got to do two-factor authentication for trading view. Okay, that's that's fine. I have that. I was a little worried there. So let's try to get locked and loaded here. Do a refresh really quickly. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's take a look at Bitcoin chart really quickly before we take a look at the articles for today. I do have some important, um, my two Satoshis, my opinions on a few things that's going on in the markets. You see what's going on with the war, potential war. Let's not knock on wood on that one. I don't want, and I don't think any of us want a war, 
And if you are thinking that a war is going to boost your bags, you're fucking crazy. You're crazy. It's not. And I'm going to explain in today's episode why Bitcoin is not a safe haven. Don't get it twisted now, please. Okay, we need to watch this war, or I keep saying war, hopefully not war. We need to watch this situation, this international situation going on between Iran. uh, Now, this is the crazy part. Now we have, it was between Pakistan and Israel. Now Iran is involved. So it's just like, what the hell is going on? And I feel like the West actually, with their perverted ass evil minds, then this goes for left and right, rhinos and Democrats. Shout out to all the Democrats out there. This is, um, they want this. They want this distraction. They want to, um, you know, get shit all in a wreck before orange man gets into office. And, uh, I'm, I'm just upset. I'm, I'm very, really upset about this. I do not like wars. Wars are necessary, but these types of wars aren't, this is all game and gamesmanship. This is all political play. This is nothing to do with actually defending, uh, our, our freedom or our, our borders here in America. So yeah, I'm a, I'm I'm about war. Don't get it twisted. But when it's necessary, it, there is a time for war. Believe me, there is a time for war. 420 is Saturday. Yeah, but they're trying to do it at 420 p.m. uh Friday. Uh they're not gonna make it to Saturday, I don't think. Um I I, I may I may be mistaken. Maybe Kim was talking about 420 Saturday. I'll have to double back on him uh, with that one. But you might be right there, memories with Mike. Sorry about that if I am incorrect. Um, what else we got? Leave You says, that was me on Twitter with the no ditty. That's hilarious. Shout out to Leave You. <laughs> Ain't no such thing as too much coochie. You don't need a pause for that one, my friend. <laughs> Bitcoin 69K on 420. Let's see. That's a big... Uh, Wow, I don't know, man. I don't see that happening. I thought you were street smart, bro. I thought I was too, man. I, I really did. I thought you were street smart, bro. Uh, let's see who else we got in the building. We got David Galfin in the house. Okay, gotcha. So that would be eleven twenty Central Stand Standard Time. What's CDT? I don't know. That's uh, you guys got me trying to do some time zone math. I mean, I'm, <laughs> come on now. Uh, World War Three has started. You might be right. It's not like a freaking uh, a binary event normally, right? It, it's a it, it's a, a process. Um, and I'm hoping we're not there. So when Barrett signals, we meeting Elmo. I'm buying. Uh oh, I hear you. We are going. Listen, let me just say this really quickly before I go over this chart. And hit that like button. If you don't want to hit the like button, smack the like booty for me, okay? But let me just say this. If we go to World War III, like it straight goes kinetic and it's official, like a referee's referee's whistle, then listen, it is possible that we go back to the scene of the crime and visit Elmo where he died. I'm just, that's how bad it would get. So we do not want in the crypto space, we do not want a war for your own selfish intentions. That alone is enough. You don't want a war. We don't want a conflict to escalate to that to that point. All right. I AI Griff said, I started watching your interview. You dropped for members. I need to sit down and watch it again. Top notch, bro. Yes. Thank you. Man, you guys be reminding me to stay on it. In regards to these things here, because yes, the members, you guys have the exclusive Waters Above interview. I did a couple of days. It was actually Tuesday with Rice, myself and Waters Above. Oh, my God. That was man. He dropped some alpha on that one, guys. Go check it out if you have time before I release it. I'll be releasing it Friday for the public. So you do have some time. AI to uh, AI Griff to marinate on that. Okay. Uh, 
Let's see here. Memories with Mike said it's like daylight savings time. Oh shit. Okay. Coordinated universal time. You man, what the fuck? What is going on, bro? I'm I'm done. Coochie direct time. They <laughs> oh man, you guys are hilarious today. Crypto City. If you're a pervert, just grope the <laughs> Waters Above did a really good video today, I think. Okay, I have to go check that one out. I watched it earlier today, at least. Sweet, sweet. Can you um, imagine we rally all the way up here? Then boom. I don't know, man. I'm really concerned about what's going on, though, um, because we are at the lower range, the lower bound on Bitcoin. I was personally thinking we were going to hold this level right here at uh, 61,000. But at the end of the day, I just have to continually reiterate to you guys, respect the moon phase. <laughs> the moon phases are street smart, clearly. Not me. For the, for the blood, I thought you were street smart, bro. Not me. Because to the mother T, we that was that was a local top. <laughs> that was a local top for Bitcoin, man. I'm not saying like. We're going, I don't know where we're going. Again, black swans, in this case, a, a, a World War III, actually, guys, technically speaking, would not be considered a black swan. This is a known, no, this is something that we know about, okay? This will be considered a gray swan event because it's something that we know about. We hope it doesn't happen. But if it does happen, it wouldn't shock us. It wouldn't come out of nowhere. A black swan event would be something like Iran shooting a nuclear or some type of missile to, to the U.S. borders. Now, that right there, Elmo comes back alive, resurrected on the third day. I'm just saying. Uh, Blood is going to make himself a thin a tinfoil hat tonight. I might have to, my friend. I surely might have to. I surely might have to. So, yeah, I'm a little concerned. We did get a a, a, um, a bounce, but it wasn't. It's like a two candle bounce. That doesn't mean anything to me. I need to see a, a formation of like four or five candles. Nice, you know, movement up, waves up out of that bounce. I'm not convinced at this point. We're heading lower now. So it's just like, man, this is not looking good for us. Because we breached sixty thousand dollars, which is a quad zero zone. You know those psychological psychological hold number areas are important to me as a trader and to other people in the in the markets. OG kind of little tidbit for you there: sixty thousand, seventy thousand, eighty thousand, a hundred thousand, a hundo, a hundred thousand is a real big uh, area of resistance, or should be at least. So at sixty thousand, we break this. Only thing, last thing I have holding us up is fifty-seven thousand dollars Bitcoin, and if we can't hold that area, gosh darn it, darn it, we are in trouble. I mean, if we retrace all the way down here to fifty-two thousand dollars Bitcoin, your retailers are going to be shitting in their pants. They're going to be very, very concerned and probably panic selling. They're not used to these types of drawdowns in their accounts, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Mastermind says, I think an attack on our land is next. That's the black swan. There you go, Mastermind. That's exactly. I don't know when you put that out there, but that's exactly it. Black swan, spot, a black swan will be when Diddy show the tapes with Trump. Oh, Lord. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Black swan is Satoshi Wallet moving BTC. It's already happened, my friend. That's happened, I think. Elliott Wade formation is playing out. Well, to the downside. Oh no, that's not good, Maddie. Um, he said, uh, often this, I'm more in the gray swan camp. Yep. 59k memories with Mike says 52 would be really nice. I don't think so, man. That's a horrible violation of a lot of things, technically. But who am I? PD Pablo? No. <laughs> Last time we hit the this level was March 5th for Bitcoin. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So let's go ahead and um take a look at what we have going on in the news feed today. I want to just start again. I usually like to start this off with giving us some context. Okay, Solana. 
killing it as of March 18th of this year. This is the activity, okay? Interest in blockchain ecosystems, global traffic share, Solana killing it. Um, and this is track. I don't know if this means search traffic or actual network activity. Not sure about that. We'll have to look into that because I like referencing this, but I need to have the proper context for this. Um, we're going to talk about another chain on this list that I've talked about since last year. Told you to get in. I'm up huge. Damn near 10x on it. Okay. I think you might know what it is, but we'll talk about it today. I want you to understand that there is more potential for this coin to move up and can potentially be my second favorite layer one blockchain. So you need to know about that. Stay around for that info. Uh, and how long do you have to stay around? Just to right now. <laughs> Didn't realize it was the next article. So ton or ton, however you want to pronounce it. Many people say different things, but they are launching or have launched a meme landia. I like this to enhance meme coin ecosystems. All right. <laughs> Clearly ton. There you go. Exactly. Um, I like this move. See, see how see how they're being agile. The community is being agile about keeping up with the trends. You have to keep up with the trends. If you're not keeping up with the trends and 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 you know trying to attract, it's a competition at the end of the day. So if you're not trying to attract the newest crowd in some form or fashion, then you're grossly behind. Um, sorry to say it, you know, I'm talking about the Cardano's of the world, XRP's of the world. You guys aren't doing anything for memes. The, the, the wave has been for quite some time now. You guys should have definitely been on the meme wave, but you're not. And so you need to stay. Listen, guys, you need to pay attention to the blockchains that are staying ahead or with the times. At least you don't have to stay ahead of the times. Just stay with the times. Base is doing a pretty good job. But ton. I say ton a ton of times. Ton. Ton, ladies and gentlemen, is the platform where all our us DJ and crypto mother suckers be. So you got to understand that this is going to be the probably the biggest blockchain or up there with Solana. It's going to be up there. It's going to be a more organic, um, naturally growing blockchain. And I think for the long run, I might like that better. I might like that better. It's not as gun hold or, or held, beholden to the VCs money and all of that, how we have with Solana. It's a lot of political big money wigs in there you know, propping stuff up, making the, and which is nothing wrong with it, but I like to see something bubble more from the bottom up than the top down. And this is what ton does for me. This is an attribute that the community at, with ton has. Okay. Go check out and maybe, um, we can have one of the mods drop a, uh, a link to this. I want you to check out, I haven't watched it yet, but I had it pinned. Watch the interview that the CEO of Telegram did with Tucker Carlson. I'm sure it's it's great. I did see a snippet. He <laughs> he he explained uh that the US government tried to bribe one of his engineers to put some back doors into the system. Boy, we play man, we one of the dirtiest countries in the world, man. And not about freedom at all. These agencies ain't about freedom for us. It's been co-opted. The country has been co-opted by a few three-letter agencies, CIA, FBI. Somebody drop in the comments in, in the chat room. What do you think that third agency is up there? Who, who reigns supreme? The, the top three who have co-opted the U.S. It might just need to be just one, the CIA. I mean, they've done the worst of it all, but uh, I would say CIA, FBI, and who else? Let me know in the, in the chat room. I want to know. D uh, David Galfan says, did you see Ton throw it 
a government backdoor engineer yes sir just that's exactly it my friend yes sir you gotta respect that it was more so telegram not ton so telegram did that the ceo of telegram i haven't been deep in it for a minute but i would i doubt it's changed um microsoft and apple have back doors of course of course thank you off near there's a video um unfortunately i can't get over there to pin it and i don't know why my mods can't pin shit i don't understand i just don't understand that homeland security okay possibly you know miorcus that mother that mother miorcus sucker man impeachment is going forward with him i think but ain't nothing gonna happen but yeah he that that's a trade that that's a traitor for sure that is definitely some issue there's some issues over there d, d, d uh was the department of homeland security i was thinking doj but no nah, i don't know hip-hop police oh my <laughs> nsa there you go mike nailed it right there guys nsa dea now nah, I'm, I'm gonna go with nsa nsa is probably working hand in hand with the cia might just be i mean probably the same agency just a different three-letter word the DTF, the government is definitely DTF us all over. <laughs> CIA, FBI, dog oh guy. Ah, wisdom bars, clever, clever. Them ratchet girls be having backdoor access. <laughs> Yo, CIA is the government. The rest is just theater. You're right, Mr. Skeela. NWA niggas with attitudes. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, we ain't got much power, my friend. Uncle Cliff confirmed backdoor a year back. There you go. <laughs> Shout out to my stizzy security guard in here watching this show right now for the first time. There we go. I'm shooting some shots at you, security guard. You better duck and return fire. CIA and NSA are both hand in hand. Yeah, yeah. We can just lump them into one. But we're, for the sake of this, I'm going to agree with you, uh, Mike. I think that's a great one. It's the NSA. So we got CIA, FBI, NSA. Line of line. The Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity. CLX in the building. He said this, this Waters Above video is fire, bro. I'm trying to tell you guys. Listen, you got to become a member, man. Not like the stuff that we drop as alpha before the the public gets it for three dollars a month at minimum because everyone gets it at the same it's like i got three tiers that's just to give you the opportunity to show uh this channel and cb more love if you wanted to it's no, no difference everyone's on the same playing field between the tiers so check that out for sure john hill in the building 50 to 52 incoming that's not good if that's the case bro most of those politicians open the back door yeah yeah homeland just isn't old enough but give them time yeah you're right you're right man you guys are up on it for sure so look tom blockchain introduces meme landa meme meme landia excuse me a platform that tr tracks meme coin performance with its ranked tol that is ton online leader board okay assessing factors like transaction volume and user engagement i love that we need that on solana meme landia offers Significant marketing, marketing support to meme coins using tons of resources for targeting campaigns and partnerships to enhance token visibility and credibility. Man, this is round of applause to God Almighty. If you ain't, listen, I'm, look, team, community, should we launch our next meme coin? And we're going to give it a minute because, I, I, you know, you live and you learn, right? We launched a second one before really nurturing the first one now it was it is a little hard to nurture the first one kunye west we're still gonna it's part of the ecosystem you're gonna have to have kunye coins to be on that wheel okay and to 1.5 x your contribution on that wheel so if you're holding or buying kunye coins you're on the wheel automatically okay this week and next week so purchase some kunye coins so you're on that wheel last week we had a kunye uh purchaser win shout out to anything for clicks i think he actually won ironically enough he actually won 
and it's so crazy how the universe works right he's been the one saying why well, are you gonna have uh, a crypto option to be placed on the wheel and lo and behold the first crypto will spin my guy anything for clicks win can't make this shit up man can't make this crypto wars in the building my man <laughs> my man yeah man shout out to keeper that's my that's my bro right there that's my bro for real so uh keeper is huge on ton he called it early as well huge on ton he's got a meme coin over there on ton so i think if we do an another one i'm like we're gonna give it a, a buffer time we're gonna give it six to, to 12 months maybe six months we'll give it before we move uh into another meme i don't know we may nurture these we we, we it just depends we'll see because we got to really nurture these coins i'm not going to be this is a community coin i'm not going to sit up here and be your exit liquidity all right so get in there participate buy the coins if you would like they're meme coins i'm not this is not financial advice this is not uh all this can go to zero you just have to warn you the strippers thank you okay so, indeed 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 that's right smash those like booties right now for me um but yeah, to 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 my point on this whole situation, we need to see this type of platform on Solana. I'm loving the innovation we're seeing on Ton with this. I'm telling you, when we do another meme coin, a community coin, it is going to be on Ton, I think. Because we need to just test the waters and, and spread our our uh and just see how it works, you know, see how the communities work, see how the different ones work. So I think that's a great play. We'll see. We'll vote on it. But uh, Ton is doing their thing, man. I'm loving it. This is great right here. Shout out to Ton. <laughs> yes, indeed. Now, another thing about Ton. I don't know if you guys heard of the Not Coin token. They were going to be uh, airdropping that token. Big, big anticipation on it or for it. Not Coin. They were going to release it on Bitcoin's having. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen now. Viral Telegram based coin, not coin or game, I should say, not coin will drop its token on the Oprah network. I'm sorry, not 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 the Oprah network, ladies and gents, not the Oprah. I'm sorry about that. Not Oprah, the open network. When I read that, though, it's. I want to say Oprah for some strange reason, but Oprah had the own network. Oprah Winfrey network. Is that what it was? She sold it. Kind of, you know, didn't do all that well. So, so she, she, I don't know if she exited with a profit. I'm sure she did. But uh, yeah, anyway, ton. Okay. The on-chain token meant for the viral Telegram based game not coin was originally expected to take place on or around the same date as the bitcoin having but that's not going to be the case any further anymore not coin representatives confirmed to decrypt um that the token launch which will take place on the open network the ton open network will no longer occur on april 20th the expected date when the bitcoin having will occur in uh or on utc time zone now the bitcoin having is the quadrennial event wow have i have to say i know a few words i have to say i have never said that word uh in which the amount of bitcoin earned okay we all know all that the project revealed the news in the telegram community now who is up on this not coin i need to and i'm you know i'm hoping now that i'm seeing this i'm hoping that i will have the opportunity to go play this game on telegram so i can earn me some tokens not too sure um anyone else up on this not coin let me know let me know i was teaching someone about luna crash just the other day oh wow <laughs> yeah you should charge strippers for consulting in crypto there you go that's a way to make some money back from all that spending runes yes j crypto minded yes 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 
I'm looking into that one. I'll be doing a video on that one. Some people have been telling me I need to look into that. It is going to be huge. So thank you for bringing that up and reminding me. But just want to let you guys know, Rune, uh, not Rune, not Coin, will not be launching on 420 now. It will now be at a later date when we don't know. All right. Now let's talk about, to summarize everything, to round it up, talk about Bitcoin. And this article saying it needs to clear 75K liquidity for post having rally. Okay. Bitcoin prices continue to test yeah, a bit liquidity after the latest Wall Street open, but confidence over Bitcoin bull market remains, they say. So Bitcoin is struggling, as we got, as you guys know, to reclaim lost ground after f- diving 15% from all time highs. So we're in a 15% correction area. We get to 20%, technically, in a traditional market, 20% or lower means a bear market correct. You know, we're entering a bear market. I don't think that is the number for Bitcoin in the crypto markets. Someone help me out on what the technical level is percentage wise on the pullback is considered going into bull or bear territory. I think it, I want to say it's like 30%, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, This trader here says that, uh, Bitcoin is experiencing normal correction as it always did every having month in preparation for top cycle, top cycle. It says here or cycle top. Currently, it is displaying the kind of wick off reaccumulation range. It did in December of 2023 that led to $73,000 Bitcoin. <laughs> this is what uh, Mickey Bull is saying. And, uh, you know, I agree. But again. In the back of my mind, Bitcoin can't predict something that hasn't happened yet. And what I mean by that is Bitcoin can't predict a black swan, a gray swan. So it will go as usual, as per business as usual. But if something comes out of nowhere, which we already have some inkling that it will, hopefully it doesn't, this conflict between uh, Iran and Israel. Pakistan and Israel, we're hoping that doesn't happen, but you have to be on edge and be ready to pull the trigger and get out of there ASAP because it could be all good just a, just a week ago, you know, and speaking of Bitcoin, I'm going to show you this chart really quickly. I thought this was a nice tweet from charts BTC and it just goes over the having. We got the having coming up 420. Uh, I thought it was going to be on Friday. But uh, I guess they are inching towards it may still be Friday, if I'm not mistaken, here in the United States. But 420 elsewhere. But look at this chart right here. This is pretty this is pretty dope right here. Actually, I want to show you this this article first from Zero Hedge. This is an article from Zero Hedge paid article. But I did uh, find a way to extract it. Okay. Let's take a look at this article really quickly. It did put some, I like what it said in this article. So it says a uh, 10K range has been held since late February. So they're saying this range that we're in, I think I drew this box the other day. We are in that zone, 10K trading range. Um, Short term must hold, they say basically here. We're at that lower bound or lower range for that range. Now we haven't hit the 50 day moving average, which is the green one. That puts us all the way down to like 57K. So we could see a a wick and touch of the 50 day moving. Um, They go on to say here, Bitcoin reminder, no Bitcoin is not a fear hedge. And this is what I want to talk about in today's episode. This is what I want to talk about. Okay. This is exactly what I want to talk about. Bitcoin is not a fear hedge. I feel like I still hear people almost making that connection connecting the dot alluding to the fact that bitcoin somehow can be a safe haven wrong wrong and don't get tricked with that do not get tricked with that one okay it is not a hedge it's not a flight to safety it is a risk on asset meaning when shit hits the fan risk on goes to risk off 
And this uh, this uh, chart here but is basically an inversion almost of what's going on. The VIX is your fear index for essentially the stock market. You see the spike up. And you see the drop down. Just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. I wanted to highlight that in this article. Three-month futures annualized basis has come off rather sharply in recent sessions, it says. It has moved in tandem with spot, although the connection isn't perfect. Okay? And talk about, look at that. Damn near. So you might want to watch NVIDIA and the Bitcoin correlation, but I would say more so just watch just watch Bitcoin and uh, liquidity, U.S. liquidity. Got to give a shout out to um my guy arthur hayes for that one he pointed that out so bitcoin and u.s liquidity is what you need to watch can be correlated a little bit with the vix but watch that i think that's a indice or index you have to track on bloomberg terminal i know most of you don't have that so it will be unavailable to you but just keep it in mind i guess um but the having the having is something interesting here because it shows us this image as we come up on it, it's 420 or Friday here in the, in the States. This image shows you the gains we see between each having. Now they get smaller because of law of large numbers. Okay, so this having percentage wise, don't expect it to be percentage wise as big of a move as the prior. Keep that in mind. The law of large numbers. The higher we get in the price of Bitcoin, the smaller the moves become, the more even keel it becomes, the more, you know, almost like a stable price similar to, to, to gold or something like that, which is wonderful. I can't wait till that happens. But uh, yeah, this is where we are. So I think that we will move higher after the halving. If you look here, every halving, we move up. It may be a slight pullback. It's a slight pullback on the 7 9 2016. The June having there was a slight pullback. There was a I, you can't see it here on the 20th having. There was a slight, slight, slight pullback. Then it ripped. Okay. Watch Waters Above interview though, because what's profound here. I'm not even going to spill the beans. You got to watch it. There, there's a small window for Bitcoin to explode. And I think it will do that. And it's coming up really, really soon. So check out that Waters Above interview for all YouTube premium members. Go check it out. It will be public for everyone else on Friday. AI Grips, I don't marry mine at all. 2X, I'll sell half each time. 2X, there you go. Smart. You are street smart. Print the, print the I thought you were street smart, bro. 60K plus that of Tether's Bitcoin holdings. Any problem? Bro, you're going to have to rewrite that. Okay. I don't understand. Me speaking no English. Not to shield waters again, but his stream today covered this exact thing really well. Okay. No, hey, shield waters above because he's a friend of the, of the, of the channel. He loves coming on. He likes meeting with Rice and I, so shield him. I want you guys to go check out Waters Above for sure. I think gold is a story be, being looked over. Okay, countries are moving fiat into gold. Definitely an indicator that things are not good geopolitically. Good point. Good point. And uh, I guess you want us to all look like uh, our buddy old pal there, Peter Schiff. You want us to look like Schiffy Schiff, huh? Shifty shift. That's the other shift. Uh, what, what What's the guy in, in Congress or Senate? That shift. I can't stand that shift. I can't stand that guy. But uh, yeah, man, it's gold is definitely something to have. I'm, I'm, I'm not denying that at all. OK, I'm not denying that at all. So any at any rate, um. We are, wait, do I see Peter Schiff somewhere out there, guys? I think I have a footage live stream of Peter Schiff. Almost, up. Uh, not so fast there, bro. Oh, uh, nope, didn't make it. Sorry there, but let's try it again. Oh, uh, nope.
anyway, uh, I want to take a look at this article from Cointelegraph. And it, I, I think we may have covered the like liquidity area, but let me see if I can pull that back up and just make sure I covered that. So lots of absorption above 40 or 64K, it says here on Bitcoin. This guy says, uh, limit selling into best bid. Spot CVD up versus price sideways equal lower. Perp's pretty sensitive to spot movement here. So expect some wide moves and wicks into liquidity okay so what do you guys think do we hold this level do we head lower i heard a few of you saying that we head lower to 52 56 that's just absolutely horrible if we do that not a good look in my opinion if we go that low just not a good look um but it's possible of course anything's possible anything's possible so let me know in the comments below. Don't forget, again, this week, it's going down, ladies and gentlemen. It's going down. $100 worth of crypto being given away. I'm giving away $50 worth of sheep, $50 worth of USCD. All you got to do is follow the instructions in the description of this video. Sign up with Blowfin. Link is in the description. And have that UID number ready on Friday. You got to be in to win it. You got to be in it to win it. Like Michael Producer says. Producer Michael, you got to be in it to win it. So you got to be here Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope you guys will win. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm out of here, people. Ha.
can do it. I'll write it and we'll do it live. Okay. Ready? Right. Fucking thing sucks. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. Yeah!